cents. And the daily double on 17 and 8 to return $80.60. Okay, that's all the details we're getting from Brisbane at the moment. Let's clear some more tote. Away they go on the last at the gardens and twilight hour immediately back to last and Pele jump with great gusto and opens up about two lengths clear settling down from Mr. Ritchie commencing pretty well and moving through on the inside Victoria Park Nias going up into the leading bracket from Saturn Planet Shining Hayes Booth and then cover the Franks Ingenuity Ripper Hedge and then twilight hour and Profit Taker brings up the rear along the back of the course they go and the leader Pele by two lengths on Nias Mr. Ritchie third and Booth wide out fourth Saturn planted in the middle is fifth and then Victoria Park on the rails from Shining Hayes. Cover the Franks is covering a bit of additional territory. Two lengths to Ingenuity around Ripper. Followed two back then by Hedge and Profit Taker and Twilight Hour whip them in. On the side they go at the 700 and Pele steadied in the lead about a length and a half. Nias, Mr. Ritchie third. Booth out very wide fourth. Saturn planted is next and then Victoria Park. Followed by Cover the Franks and Shining Hayes. Ingenuity and Ripper one further back in the field is Profit Taker. Hedges second last and two lengths to Twilight Hour. Around the home bend in the last here at Rose Hill Gardens, Pele straightens up. Tackled in earnest by Nias is a neck from Pele, a length the booth. Followed by Mr. Ritchie, Victoria Park, Satin planted into the clear and cover the Franks is still battling on pretty well. He has an inclination to shift in a shade. Nias, Victoria Park, Pele, booth and cover the Franks the outside, but Victoria Park sailed through along the inside, hit the front and is home. Victoria Park beat cover the Franks, nice in a photo with Hedge for third, not far away Ripper with Booth and Ingenuity and then came Mr. Ritchie, Twilight Hour Satin Platter didn't go on, Pele walked the last 100 and then Shining Hayes and Profit Taker at the tail of the field Super tab there, number two, Victoria Park to return $8 and $2.80, nine cover the Franks, one ninety. those for third, 11, Nias, five sixty or one Hedge, two forty. Three dollars the place Victoria Park, Grant Cooksley beating number nine, and that's cover the Franks. Jim Cassidy was forced to cover a bit of ground. Just away here is the grey Esplad. Uh, it got in front in the early point from Eastern Princess and Timpanet in the centre when they settled down from Century Affair Wolf. Further back in the race, then who's the best? A length into Betty Chateau and last of all is Bullion Lady. Eastern Princess showing pace. Got about a neck in front of Esplad the rail, a length into Timpanet and then on the outside Century Affair fourth. Two further back Betty Chateau on the inside of who's the best and Wolf sitting out wide and a couple of lengths Bullion Lady. Off the back at the 7.50 metre mark and Esplad has got up on the inside and Esplad led three quarters Eastern Princess, two further back Century Affair outside Timpanet fourth, one and a half to Wolf and further back then came Betty Chateau running sixth, two lengths to Who's the Best and Bullion Lady got up on the inside of it, 600 to go, the grey Esplad about a neck in front of on the outside Eastern Princess, a length and a half further back is Century Affair on the outside of Timpanet, Wolf coming wide as they leave the rail and they've got away from Betty Chateau and back to the inside Bullion Lady who Who's the best last inside the 400 now? Esplad tackled by Eastern Princess Timpanet further out. Then came Wolfers coming home well from Century Affair under some pressure across the track. And Wolfers finishing well going after Eastern Princess Timpanet. And Esplad back on the inside. Wolf on the outside got its head in front. Drew to the lead from Timpanet. Esplad and Eastern Princess. Then Betty Chateau. But Wolf's coming away. And Wolf wins a length and a half on the run home. Second or maybe Timpanet a nose to Esplad who kicked back. Then further back Betty Chateau four out wider gap century affair then eastern princess a long way back bullion lady and last of all is who's the best one wolf 540 and 210 six uh Timpanet to pay 230 270 for number five as far let's go to newcastle okay uh, one wolf to pay 640 and 220 number six Timpanet to return two dollars ten and five for third as blood place dividend of two dollars and fifty uh, cents back to that camera but now silver lining both began brilliantly via mare may have hesitated slightly at the start second last out of the gates deep tempest is getting back misty judas going very quickly in the early part a thousand meters to go misty judas gone to the front now from our silver lining there's plenty of speed on mr newmarket is a length and a half away third then bimberdine answered prayers there goes deep tempest he's circling the field about five wide just behind them tipsy feeling next is black sails further back came craigley devil back towards the rear only joy wide is franciscan 
Magic and Via Mare. She's back near last, but starting to thread her way through the field. Down the side, 500 metres left to go. Misty Jude, a length in front. Our silver lining running second. Bimbadina's third, then Mr. Newmarket. Followed by Black Sails. Deep Tempest is wide. Tipsy Feeling is next. Via Mare's coming to the outside as they head for home. She's up on the outside of Answered Prayers. Misty Jude in front, 350 metres to go. Leads by a length. Our silver lining, Mr. Newmarket, second and third. Via Mare to the extreme outside. She's winding up. She's finishing strongly now. She's still three off the pace. Misty Jude in front. Our silver lining and Via Mare on the outside. She's flying home. Can she get there? Yes! She's got there in the last stride. Via Mare first. Second, our silver lining. And third home, Misty Jude. Then Mr. Newmarket. The next one in was Craigley Devil, Black Sails. Only Joy answered prayers. Then Bimberdine, Tipsy Feeling, Franciscan Magic and Deep Tempest. Winner number one, Via Mare, three even, 180. Nine, our silver lining, 1030. And six, Misty Jude, showing 330. One via Mare, $4.190. Number nine, our silver lining to pay $2.20. And number six, Misty Jude to pay $4.40. As we take a look at the market for that, or the rest of that market.